Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossi. Today we are going to use shapes to draw a ladybug together. Let's get started. The shapes we are going to focus on today to make our ladybug are circles. So the first thing we're going to do on our blank piece of paper is draw a circle with our pencil. I'm going to draw my circle nice and big in the center of my paper, and that's going to be the body of my ladybug. My circle doesn't have to be perfect, just try your best. Once you have your circle nice and big, we're going to add a half circle on the top. This is going to be for the head of our ladybug. To draw a half circle, you are starting at one edge of our larger circle, and we are making a curve that is coming back down, kind of like a frown all the way back down to the other edge of our circle. I'm going to add two circles inside my head, and those circles are going to be for my eyes. And if I want eyeballs inside my circle, I can do two more half circles. These are going to come down from the top inside my eye shape and back up like a smile line to make the inside where my ladybug is looking. Now we're going to add some spots to our ladybug, so I'm going to draw all different size circles inside my larger circle body. I can have some that are half circles, where they are only going to the edge of the body. I can have some that are very small, and I can have some that are very big. I'm just going to fill up my ladybug's body with a bunch of different circles. That looks good. I want my ladybug to be sitting on a leaf. So to draw a leaf, I'm going to start with two straight lines coming down from the top of my paper. Those straight lines are going to be the stem of our leaf. From the end of one line, I'm going to do a big curvy line around my ladybug down towards the edge of my paper, but I'm going to leave a little space there. I won't go all the way down. So I started at the end of my stem line and I did a big curvy line all the way around the edge of my ladybug. So I went around the body of my ladybug. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, except I'm going to come the other direction. So I'm gonna go from this end of my stem and I'm going to draw all the way around my ladybug and keep going until I meet the other end of my first line. So I have two big curvy lines making almost like a circle, except it's going to be pointy at the bottom and a little bit pointy at the top. I'm going to add a line inside my leaf. So I'm going to stop when I hit the ladybug, jump over it and start back again here at the bottom. And then I'm going to have some lines coming out from my leaf, just like that. Maybe I'll put some over here. And I'm just drawing some lines coming out of my leaf for decoration. I can even put some on the side around the edge of my ladybug. That looks great. So now that I'm finished, I'm going to trace my ladybug in a dark colored crayon. So I'm going to grab a black crayon from my crayon box and I'm going to go over the top of all of my pencil lines with my black crayon so I can see them better. So I'm just tracing my leaf first, going right over the top of my pencil lines to make them nice and dark all the way around just like that I'm going to trace my ladybug so I'm going right on the top of those pencil lines tracing the circles that I need for our eyes and then tracing our nice big body Thank you. 
and I'm going to trace all of the spots on my ladybug also. So I'm drawing right over the top of my pencil lines to make my pencil a little bit darker so it's easier to see. If you make a mistake and you miss your pencil line, that is okay. Once we start to color, you won't even be able to see that. I'm not going to trace my lines inside my leaf. I'm actually gonna trace those in a nice dark green color. So then once I color in my leaf, it's going to be easier to see. So I'm tracing the lines for my leaf, just like that. That looks good. And now I'm going to start coloring in my ladybug and my leaf. I'm gonna make my leaf a light green color. You can make yours whatever color you would like. And I'm just going to go back and forth with my crayon, being sure to color inside the lines. I'm not scribbling, I'm doing my absolute best coloring to keep my picture nice and neat. I'm going around my ladybug with my green crayon because my ladybug is going to be red. I don't want it to be the same color as my leaf, so I'm going around my ladybug nice and carefully as I'm coloring. There we go, that is all filled in. I didn't leave any white space. I'm going to get a red to color in my ladybug. And with my red crayon, I'm going to color in my ladybug's body, but I'm going to go around the dots that I made. I'm gonna go around those circles because those circles are going to be black. So I'm gonna color very carefully inside my ladybug, being sure to go around those circles so I don't color those in by accident. And my ladybug is all colored in nice and red. I'm going to grab my black crayon again, and I'm going to fill in my ladybug spots. I'm gonna be very careful to color inside the lines because I took a lot of time to draw those circles for my ladybug spots. So I wanna make sure they stay circles by coloring very carefully inside the lines. I wanna fill in all the white space. I'm gonna go back and forth slowly with my crayon and color in each one of those circles. And as you can see, the spots where I missed tracing my pencil lines with my darker crayon, you can't even notice those anymore because the crayon has colored over them. So you don't have to worry if you traced off of your lines a little bit and it's not perfect, that is okay. Now that my spots are all colored and I'm going to color in my head black also, being sure to go around the eyes just like that. And I think I'm going to give my ladybug some blue eyes. You can pick whatever color you'd like. So I'm coloring in that half circle blue. And the only thing left is to color in our background. So outside of my leaf, all around the edge where I have my paper still showing, I'm going to make it blue. Maybe my leaf is in a tree in the sky. So I'm just going to color this whole background in blue so it is like the sky. You can color yours in whatever color you would like. If you want to draw more leaves in the background, you can do that. It is up to you. We just want our paper nicely colored in. And even though this is a bigger space, I'm still coloring nice and slow because I don't want to make a mistake and draw over my leaf. And I don't want to scribble. I want to color nice and slow to fill in my space here. Sometimes it's easy to turn your paper while you're coloring so you can better reach the areas you need to tell have left to color. So I turn my paper over so I can reach this area a little bit better with my crayon. And I am done. 
my paper is fully colored in. I have a really nice ladybug sitting here on my leaf. When you are finished, please save your drawing with the rest of your projects you've made for art class. I can't wait to see it when we get back to school. Try your best, have fun, and get creative. Bye!